Rockwell. And I'm Quentin Rockwell. We're married. And we work together. Well, kind of. This is Working Together-ish. Welcome to Working Together-ish, the podcast for couples who work together. I'm Kat Rockwell, and this is the lovely and talented Quentin Rockwell. Hi. Um, we are glad that you are here. Um, this is, I guess, our first actual podcast that we're doing right. with this. Uh, we used to do a, a thing, a, a Facebook Live event, and we would promote it on YouTube and did stuff like that. And we did, God, that for three years. So this is yeah. our first time doing this as this. Pre-recorded, where we don't have to worry about our kids interrupting us. And how many times I had to get up to go tell them to... Be quiet, basically. Yeah. So this is so nice. <laughs> I had to, had to nicely. Um, Which, by the way, that's still happening. We just get to pause it now. Yeah, we can pause it. So if you see a pause and then a break, then you know what happened. I, we, one of us had to go and right um, deal with things. Right. Well, welcome to working together ish. So every week we're going to discuss a topic that couples have to deal with if they work together like in a work setting because yes. technically all couples kind of work together and also people who don't work with their spouse a lot of times have the same issues with say, people they work with or significant other don't be all judgy however <laughs> this is th we're going to really talk about this specifically even though a lot of our themes could carry over into other relationships in your life. Oh God. Right? Yeah. If you work, if you work in some sort of tight knit community or some, some, some sort of situation that is, you know, close together and a lot of it, um, I would say it, it applies. Right. So, uh, we look forward to, to join you each week in, in your house, in your bathroom, in your toilet, wherever you're viewing this or listening to this in your car while you're running. Not doing those two things at one time, but why not? Yeah. Okay. We look forward to getting to know you and uh and a lot of fun topics to come. So what's today's topic? Today we're gonna talk about um projects, working together on a project. Um so yeah, so we have I okay, go ahead. Okay, well let me set up kind of the structure of okay. how each one of these episodes is gonna go. So at the beginning Obviously not this one because this is our very first episode, but we'd like to spend a little bit of time at the beginning reading over some of the comments from some of the episodes. So we may talk about a topic that makes you think of a story in your own life. Uh, comment, share. Uh, yeah. We, uh, Whether you're listening to the podcast or you're viewing the video online, go ahead and comment, like, share, subscribe. So that way uh, we can uh, read your comments on here because people don't want to hear us talking all the time. No. I, I mean, we'll still be talking, but it'll we'll be reading your words. I don't want to hear us talking all the time. Then, then we'll spend each time, and this is one of my favorite segments, uh, where uh, we call three questions. So the way this works is before the podcast, we choose a topic, but both Quentin and I independently pick three questions that we want to pose to the other person and we don't know the, those questions before the podcast, so so we don't we don't know what the other person's going to say. So we'll have three questions, and then at the very end, we'll take a look at what the internet says about the about the topic, because that's always fun to see what the internet says. I mean, with uh, I guess with the client, uh, the the I'm sorry, the climate of everything going on right now. What does the internet say? Good lord! By the way, we will throw in our own commentary on what the internet. Yeah, says, yo, so I'm throwing in mine. I'm very much looking forward to that section. It'll be fun. So, um, do you want to do your questions first? We will. We will start with my questions first. So, my first question is, what was the worst project we ever did together? Which I realized first as I wrote that question, I was like, this could be taken one of two ways. It could be like, you could take it as like what project turned out the worst or like what was the worst experience of us doing a project together? I, I'm not really sure. Um, there have been so many. There's been so <laughs> many bad, 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 bad projects. Um, I would say probably most recently, probably just 
fixing the renovating the house, doing stuff. I mean, yeah. it wasn't well. It really wasn't that bad. It was just kind of a. Uh, for me, because it's just like, oh, crap, I got broken. Now we got to fix that. And I got to mm-hmm. fix this other thing. So, I mean, it really wasn't necessarily, um, I mean, it really wasn't anything that, w- I'll just go with that. Okay. Because I think we also handle, when things go wrong in the project, I think we each handle them differently. They, but it, it, it it's not always the same. Like, it could just be different based on where we're at that day. <laughs> Well, I mean, typically if I'm having to do any sort of, any sort of plumbing work, um, or motor stuff, um, if you're around me and you can't handle me getting ticked off and saying words and just being sharp, if you can't handle that, get out. Yeah. Which I usually don't. Like, I want projects to be magical, just like HGTV. It's happy. We're enjoying this time together. I'm I'm not. And because... (laughs) Because typically, <laughs> typically it's something that my my hands don't fit in this thing, and I'm so I'm trying to get my big hands into this little bitty thing. Um, yeah, it's aggravating. You need little hands like Zach Galifianakis that is on sticks. No, and 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 sometimes, sometimes Quentin turns into specifically with plumbing or car stuff. Quentin turns into the dad from A Christmas Story, where it's just like. A string, no, of, a string of expletives yeah. coming out of his mouth. And I don't like that. I want it to be happy. So I yeah. get it. All right. What's, I guess, what's your second question? What is, hold on. I wrote it wrong and in bad English. Hold on. Something. Okay. When we, when we work together on projects together, what is something I do that drives you crazy? I guess bad crazy. What irritates you when we're working together on things? What irritates me the most um, is stuff like when I'm getting irritated or I'm getting frustrated with something, Mm -hmm. um, you getting all upset at me being frustrated. (laughs) And I'm just like, get out. Go away. I'm or, upset or, at you being upset. Yeah, you get upset at me being upset, and then I'm just like, well, get out or do what I'm telling you to do. Hand me that tool. Just hand me that tool and just right. just be quiet. I don't, right. I don't, I don't, yeah. Oh, it's aggravating. It's aggravating to think about. It. That yeah. actually, a statement, uh, I had made a post several years ago that came up in my Facebook memories, and it was just a broad statement that said, Three times Quentin has has asked for me to get a tool from the garage. And three times I grabbed the correct tool. And that made me really happy that I did that that one time. That makes me proud. I know, right? Good. Good job. I know. Okay. So my third question is, if we were on The Amazing Race, what would our roles be? You would be navigator. Mm Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, because if I'm navig- navigator or something, she likes telling me how to go, where to go, how to drive, all that stuff. But Do you ever do this? You're, you're just like somebody else is holding the GPS and they're telling you how to get there. And you're like, just just hand it to me. Just hand it to me because I just need to see it. Just just, just hand it to me. Yeah. I even put like your GPS. Um, I even have it to where it tells you in... 1.25 miles take a right. Right. But that doesn't work for me. Like I've got to be able to just see a map and once I see it, I get it and I and I know where to go. Okay, but yes, I would totally be the navigator. Oh god. Whether you wanted her to or not, she's yeah. going to be the navigator. It's going to happen. So might as well just let her be the navigator and then So what would you be then? I'd probably be the dude just driving and then telling you to shut up. Pretty much. Like, this is what it would be. Like, all of America and the world would think we're the worst couple in the world. Seriously. Based on how we interact in a vehicle together, which is, I think every couple would agree. Like, that's not your prime, like, what you want to show the world how you are as a couple. No. I mean, because mine, I'm just like, stop telling me how to drive. I'll just tell you, be quiet. Yeah. And then, then just be quiet. Yeah. Or, or, but I mean, to your credit, I mean, at least you kind of, you know that and it's aggravating and your OCD-ness goes, is aggravating to me. So I'm just like, just be quiet. So she'll try to get in her phone and just kind of 
I don't know. Yeah. Block out the world. Yeah. And to your credit, you are a really good driver. So I agree. Like if we were needing to get somewhere fast and get there in one piece, like but you're, you would, you would, you would do the job. I would be petrified. Yeah. She on would. the way there, she'd be petrified. I would need to navigate from the back seat. In a roll of bubble wrap. Like, I would be freaking With out. With blinders on. Yeah. Yeah. So, just but like. Then, but then you can't, like, do stunt driving and all that stuff because then if you move any, it's. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I do I do think that's that's a little crazy. I think there have been plenty of couples on The Amazing Race. And people are like, oh, my gosh. That poor girl. Or that poor guy. Like, they're in the he's worst such, relationship. He's such a jerk. And it's yeah. probably. It's usually. He's such a yeah. jerk. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, I don't know, unless she just, you know, beats him down verbally all the time. But it's usually, he's such a jerk. But then they make the dude look out to be, yeah, look to be horrible. I agree. But it's really just not an ideal situation. It's no, it not sucks. like they're like in church or something. Oh, yeah, no. Like, Even yeah. then on the way to church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are my three questions. I wish they would bring back Amazing Race just so we could be on it. I don't want to be on it. I don't want to be on it at all. I mean, the traveling is cool, but the traveling and the conditions that they do it in, yeah. I don't want to do that crap. Um, anyway, so I guess since my my three questions are actually kind of similar to yours. You asked about the Amazing Race also? Yes. No. Um, what is your proudest non-family life moment? What does that have to do with projects? I'm getting to it. Oh, Okay. Okay, hold on. Say that again. What is your proudest non-family life moment? Like having kids and all that junk. But non-family. Non-family. Because kids, having kids would be family. Yeah. Okay. Um, My proudest non-family moment would be the time I won the 1996 Liberty Middle School Co-Ed Free Throw Championship. And beat out all the guys. Okay, now I've been hearing you talk about that for years. Yeah. Um, do you have proof? I mean, I have witnesses on Facebook. Okay, yeah, I witnesses. Can, I have Bill witnesses. Vouch? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, if you're a witness to this, what, 1996? 1996 Liberty Middle School co-ed free throw champion. Okay. Remember, y'all, I beat out all the guys. Specifically, the final two people were me and Kevin Cormier, okay? But didn't you beat out the coach or something? Well, or yeah, the they got eliminated earlier on. Yes. Okay. The the so, vice principal who taught me how to shoot free throws, I okay. beat him out. Well, then if you're a witness to this, because I've never seen proof. I've never seen pictures. I've never seen documentation that i remember i don't i've never seen this Mm -hmm. and this is like your not claim to fame that sounds bad my proudest non-family moment yeah (laughs) it's but it's been a thing you've claimed for a long time so if you're a witness to that please i mean even a simple vouch a simple yes i saw that or i was there i mean just something simple i mean it doesn't have to i don't have to have pictures or video i mean video was yeah this was also 1996 yeah. it's not like we whipped out our phones and recorded yeah i mean there may be photos i mean that would be great mm-hmm. that would be great we were also in middle school so again yeah. no one has a camera except yeah. for the yearbook person yeah so okay. if, if this is out there i mean and you have that then that would be awesome i would love to see that um, but if anybody else would just vouch for you. Okay, y'all, y'all hear him. I will tag some people and ask for, can I solicit witnesses? Yeah, sure. Okay. Can I summon witnesses? Yeah, you can summon okay, witnesses. Okay, fantastic. I will, I will tag people. Um, uh, and, uh, does, does my sister count as a witness? Yeah. Okay. By the way, I do want to note that not only did I win this championship, beat out all the guys, I did it in my sparkly drill team uniform okay so um so, so what did that have to do with um well i'm getting to it okay what is your proudest and and most pleasing project proudest or pleasing or whatever it is that you did with me my proudest pleasing project I did with you. My proudest pleasing project I did with you 
Um, is this non-family also? Well, no, I'm more married. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Just something, what is the thing you're the most proudest? That we did together? Yeah. That's really, really tough. I would think overall. And and not not the, we had children, two beautiful, no, not that crap. Two beautiful children. Yeah, all right, no. Okay, that honestly, maybe that shows something about me, but I wasn't even thinking that, so. No, it's good, because I, I wasn't implying that. I didn't okay. want that. Um, I, I think overall, just opening our real estate business. Okay. Is perhaps, I mean, that's sort of a long game, but I, I think that's one of the proudest pleasing projects we've done together okay okay um i'll take that and what is the worst project that you did with me something that you don't ever want to repeat um just it you would rather forget or whatever whatever's the worst bleh, that you yeah. would get so or, this one's actually easier to think of oh, because you know negative memories stick with you I guess. Yeah, let me make a list of negative so memories. So I have a list. I got a list of negative memories with you. I I, see, notice how I just avoided that question. Uh-huh. So, okay, if I had to pick one, it would be towing a car on a tow rope together. That's horrible. Quentin was in the back car. I was in the front car towing. I was in a truck towing a, what we had a Nissan Altima that had to be towed into. Was it? Yeah. And and driving down one of the less busier highways in Houston. But nonetheless, that was by far the most stressful thing I've ever done. Not just with you, but just with any other human being. And I would never, ever, ever, ever tow a vehicle with a tow rope ever again. And see, this wasn't my first time. I've done that plenty and yeah. I mean, no, never, never, ever, ever, never. Did, did, did you remember that I found out that they had a car dolly we could have borrowed? Yeah. Yeah. I after, think, I think after the fact after? we, we didn't even have to use the tow rope and we could have, yeah, used a simple car dolly and that would have just made life so much simpler. I wouldn't have even had to do anything at that point. You could have just driven it. Yeah. Yeah. So never will I ever do that ever again. You could have sat, you know, ridden in the passenger seat on your little phone. Actually, right. no. I wouldn't no, we say didn't have on, cell phones back then. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. play Snake on your phone. Play Snake on my Nokia. <laughs> on your That's Nokia that doesn't fail like Apple does. I mean, I mean, anyway. Sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't, I didn't. We're on, we're on Apple Podcasts. Oh. Okay. So, um, he doesn't, he doesn't mean that, folks. No, yeah, no. I don't, I don't mean that because the controller chip of anyway. Anyway, okay, I is Nokia. that it? I love my but Nokia. I don't... Yeah, that's three questions. Okay, awesome. So, okay, fantastic. Now, y'all, now our audience knows a little bit more about us, and hopefully, we inspired slash evoked some wonderful memories in their own life about working together with their spouse. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I guess, okay, so you have some articles here. Yeah. Um, and I guess, why don't you go ahead and, and read some of them because... Okay, so we're going to look at a few things. What does, this is our next section, what does the internet say? And I haven't read any of this uh-huh. stuff, so my stuff's going to be off, my comments will be off the cuff. Okay, so I want to preface this with, we have two articles, blog posts, written by... Women and one <laughs> blog post written by a gentleman. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the first one we have is from a blog called Blesser House, blesserhouse.com. Uh, with, I'm going to assume her name is Lauren, and I'm going to assume her last name is Blesser. Um, and her blog post is How to Survive Do It Yourself Projects as a Couple. So there's actually some decent tips in here that, I mean, I guess I would agree upon, but, you know, just stuff like, if I scroll down to it, one, discuss a plan. Okay. So have a plan. Okay. Like, if you're going to paint your house, have a plan. Yeah. Or at least decide who does what. 
Okay. You tape. I'll edge. You roll. Like, okay. this is how we're going to do this. Now, that doesn't work for everybody because I'm a jumper in her person. Like, I like to just jump but, right I mean, in. But no, we still even, we still have, would have a plan. It's like a, base, a basic, however basic sure. it needs to be, but it has some sort of something. I yeah. mean, you don't have to like be an engineer. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. But I think there's just some people who, okay, let's say for the paint a room example. Like, there's some people who would just be like, let's go. I got a bucket. I got a brush. Like, let me go. But there's so much more that has to happen when you paint a room. Like, yeah. Pre- lots of prep lots of prep work like so much of it is prep work and not painting yeah. so but there's so many people that and, and sometimes when you walk into that room you're just like oh wow you painted mm, there's nice. like paint on the ceiling from the roller and the lines are look like blah, 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 jibber jabber yeah. well, i mean whatever. yeah i mean you need it okay so plan. okay have a plan okay. uh she has several things on here set aside the time uh, to do the project because it's probably going to take you like t- twice if as long if not longer oh, God. on how to do it seriously unless you're a pro go into it knowing there will be mistakes yeah now, is this stuff that's like i mean is this like for people that have no idea when they start i think okay so she writes this blog post with her or, or she does this blog with her husband because i guess they do a lot of home stuff together okay and so i think she's just being like wanting to give people advice okay or she just needed to write a blog post that day and that's what she chose to <laughs> write about i mean write it, about. but this is geared towards people that i guess have no clue when they start getting into something you know i'm not gonna lie i honestly think this is geared towards women because a lot of these things like it's stuff that we want to understand and think we do, but we really don't. Like, here's some of a few of the other tips. Encourage each other. Oh, God. Get excited about it together. Maybe that's for guys. Oh, mm. I love this one. Use good manners. Say please and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is for women. Breathe and hold your tongue. That's oh, yeah, for women. That, yeah, yeah, it is. Be problem solvers. Know when it's time to take a break. Laugh it off. And be proud together of what you accomplish. Yeah, this... No. Do you want to hold hands right now? Sure, whatever. But this is definitely... This is, it doesn't speak to me. It, it definitely does I mean, a, a guy is not going to be reading this blog post, first of all, whatsoever. I was going to say most dudes don't read blog posts anyway. Yeah. So I think the takeaway here, though, is... Like, she doesn't say this, but, like, my observation is... Especially in a project setting, like women are going to be the first probably to be critical because it's not going the way it we expected it to go. Yeah. You know? But, okay. So, but overall, I mean, they're fine. They're fine tips. So the second blog post we found was from Megan Wild on OutsideTheBoxMom.com. OutsideTheBoxMom.com. And this Where is, is she from? Because that sounds like from Chicago or somewhere. Uh, maybe up in the Midwest. It doesn't say. So, I mean, not a whole lot of bloggers are okay. like, hey, this is where I live. Well, I don't know. Sometimes you can kind of tell. This is true. I don't, I don't hear her voice, though. So, okay. um, she lives in Southwest Virginia. Okay. Okay. Southwest not, Virginia. Not Chicago. Okay. So her her blog says is entitled Marriage Advice: Why Working on a Home Improvement Project Can Improve Your Marriage. Okay. Do you think most of our home improvement projects have improved our marriage? God, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Well, um she has four points. One, it builds teamwork. Two, it strengthens communication. Mm. Three, it saves money. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, some, yeah, sometimes, depending. Uh, four, it's a fun date. No, it's not. What? It is not a fun date. I'm sorry. It is I not. love being in a confined space with you, breathing in fumes. Getting frustrated, um, or, or especially if you're having to paint, like, in a bathroom, and you're having to get around behind toilets and all that fun jazz. Yeah, no. I mean, when you're like, horrible. hey, baby, hey, baby, how do you want to spend your anniversary and you're just like, hey, hey, babe, let's let's put together a, a handmade bookshelf in our garage. 
And I'd be like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Exactly. Bookshelves. Shelving. Shelving. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Well, I guess, does she have any other? That's really it. No, she had those four points trying to convince the world that couples should do their projects together, which again, is not a bad thing at the same time. I don't know. Y'all, y'all can decide. Our audience can decide whether or not, like, is that something you would volunteer? Like, would that be how you spend a day, date night? Oh, that sounds horrible. And, and if it is something you would do, I don't understand you. We'll we'll post we'll post a poll online. Like, what is this? It does this seem like? Would you do this on a date night? God. If you okay. Have, well, okay. all right. Well, I'm interested in this this guy's <laughs> article that you read. I'm actually so, interested in this one. Right. Okay. So the article written by Kurt Vincent uh, off of the Laurenberg Exchange dot com. His title simply says, avoid DIY projects with your spouse. Boom. Truth. So I l- absolutely love this that we have when when searching the internet for projects with your spouse, we get two articles uh, from women are like, oh my gosh, here, yeah, here's how it can work and it'll be great. And the dude's just like, nah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know that that's a smart man. And he has really no points in his article other than a really bad experience he had with his spouse who they've been married for a really long time. And, uh, and, so you and, can survive. So you can survive. That is it. But he's just like, Ugh. he's just like, no, just, just don't do it. Just it, hire yeah. somebody if you want to, to do it for you. Sometimes that can save your sanity. If, if I have the ability to hire somebody, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I would, I would definitely do it. Am I ever going to paint my house again? Uh, I may have to, but I'm going to see if I can hire somebody. Am I ever yeah. going to have whatever DIY projects? I'm going to do my best to not have to do it. Right. Cause the but, whole saving money, sometimes you're not like by the time you get all the supplies, yeah, all the, the all time the equipment, and the headache and the, yeah, you've spent more money I than mean, if you just would have hired somebody to do it. It sounds, I mean, I don't know. It sounds like I'm, I'm Mr. Negative over here, but, um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, there's it depend. it depends on what it is. It really does uh-huh. depend on what it is and, and that, and we need to, you need to have patience with the other person. And where they're at. It's like me, I hate uh, doing plumbing work. I hate doing all sorts of like stuff on on the house. I hate it, but I do it because I have to do it. And so just have patience with me to just let me do my thing how I need to do it. And I'm already in a, a situation that I hate doing something that I hate, but I'm having to do it. Right. And so it's just like have patience with me. I mean, because there are some people, I know people that love plumbing work. I know people that love to work on cars and stuff like that. Yeah. I am not that person. I don't know any couples, though, who enjoy doing those things together. I don't either, because most of the people, most, well, I'll say most of the guys I know that work on cars, they go out in the garage and then the wife just kind of lets them do their thing, right. you know, and just kind of walks on. Um and then, I mean, that's, and this it's the same with like, you know, her and her, whatever her craft is or whatever her thing is. I mean, he just kind of walks off and yeah. just kind of lets her do her thing. Yeah. And you just, yeah, you gotta have patience. God. Just cause keep in mind, they may be hating where they're at in life at that particular point in time. <laughs> that That's totally true. Yes. And again, I think it's just a good perspective of just, you know what? It's the moment. It's, it's a project. It's going to pass. Try not to say or do anything that's going to like permanently offend the other person. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but have, you know, extend grace with the yeah. other person because it just sucks. And if you like, everyone's been there, right? Everyone's been dealing with something, whether, whether at some point in their life, whether it's work, maybe you're working on something on the computer or just a project on your own where you reach this point where you can't move forward and you can't figure it out and you're pressed for time and you're just so mad at the yeah. world. Just right. Kind of in general misery right. overall. Yeah, man. Just, 
I was going to say, man, we've all been there. Yeah. And I will say, I am the first to be like, why are you so upset? Like, I'm upset at the fact that you're upset. Like, yeah. I will admit, I, I need to do a better job at that. Okay. Well, the very yes. last the very last <laughs> article was from helpfindmelove.net, oh which, by the way, I'm going to preface that I have not, I didn't vet that site or anything. So if it's like an inappropriate site or something, I apologize for promoting that, but I'm just putting out the source there. Now, they had several questions that you can ask your spouse while you're working on a project together. Oh, God. Now, we can't read all of these. Because... I, like, I like the first one, though. Would okay. you rather I be completely hairless or hairy as a gorilla? Yeah. I, I felt like that was not either also. A... Anyway. Okay. Well, w w would you rather be I completely hairless or as hairy as a gorilla? That's hard. I don't know. Because I like. I like. I like a hairy guy, like, you know, but at the same time, it's not a gorilla hairy. No. So that's a really hard one. Like neither. I don't want any of those. <laughs> like, can you just not, can you just be, I don't know. I guess I, I guess hairless because that's like the lesser of two evils. Well, here's a question that'll get you in trouble real quick. I think who would play your love interest, AKA me. That's going to get you in some who movie. would Who would play my love interest in a movie? Well, that's only, what if, what if I'm not playing it? Me. What if I'm not playing me? That's the whole thing. It's okay. like, who would play me uh -huh. in a movie, your love interest? That can get into some dangerous mm -hmm. grounds. Well, who would, who, then let's switch it. Who would play you in a movie about I don't us? know. Obviously, younger Brad Pitt. Ob obviously. Obviously, who who would play me? Ooh. I I what? think. Go I ahead. Have an I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Have, pa have patience. Please. Okay, I'm have having patience. patience. I think Zoe Deschanel maybe would play me. Maybe Emily Blunt. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Emily Blunt. Mia Yovovich. Sure. Okay. Yeah, how quickly he said, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, her, her, so, her, ask so me in the movie, to play you. So do I, I get to, like, you know, play me in the movie with them playing you? <laughs> All right, move on to the next question <laughs> that we, um, okay. Oh, man. What is, We're not going to read all of these, because oh like I said, man. these are not all um, appropriate to read on a podcast. Um, okay, well, here's, would you rather endure childbirth or wear high heels for the entire day? That seems kind of... I'd wear high heels. That's me, though. I haven't, wear high haven't... heels for the entire day? Yeah. Oh, I'd rather wear high heels for a day. Yeah, because childbirth have... looks kind of painful. Have another baby. Good Lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do you think? What... What's my best physical feature? Okay. Yeah, what... I gotta stop. The... That's stop. That's fun. That's gonna get There was one on here I was gonna ask you, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, if Since we already talked about it, but if you could be on any reality TV show, which one would you be on? I don't watch reality TV, so I don't really know what's. I don't even know what. I don't even know what shows are there. Yeah, well, take a guess at the ones you do know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, well, there's Survivor. Is that even still on? Yeah, Survivor is still on. Um, then I don't even know what's that that show we the Big Brother. Oh yeah. I've never really watched Big Brother. I've seen like an episode and however many seasons they were on. Right. Um, I, I have no idea. Yeah. I seriously do not watch reality there TV There really shows. are a lot of them. Would yeah. there, um, well, what TV show in general would you want to star on or be a guest star on? Um, I don't know. Well, you're not really fun at this game. I know I'm not really fun at this game. If you're giving me trivia, I'm sorry. Gonna... Okay, I this is true. Quentin is a amazing at trivia. If you're playing trivia well, pursuit with somebody, like with a team, you want Quentin on your team. Uh, yeah, okay, I can't. I can't think of anything. I would. I would want to be. I think I would want to be on Amazing Race, even though that's not airing anymore. And I would also want to guest star on. The office when it was in its heyday. Oh, oh god! I mean, that's 
Yeah. I mean, it's a good show, but I mean, are you, we're talking any show ever? Sure. Why not? Okay. Well, then the it's o- our podcast. We do whatever we want. Well, no, I mean, the office, I'd act, I mean, that actually sounds like it'd be fun to be uh-huh. honest with you. Um, it, it does sound like that would be fun. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want something. I don't know what I would. I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I'm bad at okay. this. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up and cool. we're just going to leave everyone hanging and maybe y'all can guess or y'all can make suggestions for Clinton. I'm open to suggestions because one, I don't watch a lot of TV anymore, really ever. Um, and two, I mean, other than Disney, watch right. Mandalorian would be kind of cool to be on that, but, um, let's we'll see if we can make that happen. <laughs> But, um, but no, I mean, if you have, you've got suggestions, I'm open to them. I'd like to hear them anyway. Right. right. Well, 24 would have been a cool show. 24 would have been a good, good show. You know, especially if I have to mm-hmm. cut the dude open to, or cut the dude open didn't, to find the. Didn't Sean Astin die in that series? He was on one of the ser- one of the seasons. Yes. And didn't he die? Yes. Sean Astin died and then he died in. You better watch out because a lot of people haven't seen it. What really? you're about to say. Yeah. You're about to do spoilers. Okay. So really? They you th- I would think there's some people who have yet to watch the series that you're about to say. And I think if you said it, perhaps people would be upset. Okay. Well, you. he died in this other show. He died in this other really popular show on Netflix. Yeah. Didn't he die in Rudy? <laughs> he did not die in Rudy. He had died eventually, <laughs> but not in the movie. That's okay. awful. Okay. Actually, he know. died. He nearly died in Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. He okay. did nearly die. Dude is... what? That'll be next week where we discuss the movies and series that Sean Astin died in. <laughs> okay. And what killed his career. No, just kidding. No. Sean Astin's wonderful. No, he's... No, he's, yeah. his career's actually had a little bit of a comeback. He's just kind of doing whatever he wants. Right. I, I respect that. I mean, I seriously um, respect that. Do so, what you want. <laughs> thank you all so much for joining uh, joining us. And uh, by the way, Sean Astin is still married to his wife that he married in 1992. Oh. Christine Harrell. Wow. Okay. Good job, Sean Astin and Christine Harrell. All right. So, uh, thank you all so much for joining us for our very first episode of Working Together-ish. If you have comments, uh, uh, go ahead and comment. Tell us your stories. Tell us your experiences of working on projects together because we want to be able to uh, read through those on our very next episode. Uh, we will also appreciate you very much if you subscribe to our channels and catch us each week. So thank you very much. Thanks so much for listening. Working together is produced by Lauren Jackson at The Rockwell Team. The theme song is Stab at Love by The Shiny Darks.